Savvy here with yet another Savvy Sunday Cigar Review. And today we are reviewing the Perdomo 10th Anniversary Champagne by Nick Perdomo. how I love to do with those celebratory smokes, baby. And that's why I'm doing it on today, this Sunday. And I'm loving every moment of it because I smoke it any day because I want to celebrate life in general. And I encourage you to do the same, my people of the leaf. Let's get in these smokes, shall we? Now, this 10th anniversary by Nick Perdomo is a celebration of his beautiful factory in Esteli with his family. And he also has an amazing group of people that's working with him, that works with him on a day to day. His crew is dedicated and I respect it. All right. So you have your triple fermented wrapper, Connecticut, Ecuador. triple fermented. Emphasize that because that is how much effort and diligence they put into this, one more time, beautiful cigar. Now, when you first see the cigar, you're going to notice that it's wrapped in a cellophane wrapper that is beautifully tinted, which again shows you how serious they are with the promotion and the showing of a great smoke, that's not going to break your wallet. You have your Nicaraguan binder and your Nicaraguan long filler. Now, as I said, it's from the Esteli factory, Nick Perdomo. They produce nothing but gems of a stogie every time they put their hands to the leaf. All right, now, as you can see, I've been smoking it for a while on this long filler. Got the ash going real right. Um, it is a medium body cigar, but hold up. When you experience the complexities of the smoke with a Connecticut leaf, that's where it gets his nice, unique impact. You have complex flavor notes that is with this here Connecticut leaf, um, but it's subtle and it keeps that smoothness to it with all that complexity and it packs a punch to it as well. So it's a very mysterious cigar, I guess you can say. Um, you have, as I get into the second, third, a very well transitioning of flavors when it comes to it. You know, I started off, I get the pepper on the retro hell, but then it goes into a palate flavor note of honey. Honey, honey, come on, honey. Um, you get your, I would say, Cuban espresso or some kind of coffee note, like a, a very hot, not saying that it's burning hot or anything, but when you get that first little cup of uh, uh, espresso shot, where it is the most, it's like a freshly um, brewed shot of espresso. Ooh, baby, you gotta adore that burn. That burn is good, baby. Give them a round of applause. 
triple fermented um, Connecticut wrapper, of course you're gonna get a lot of rich tobacco flavors in this cigar. And I wanna highlight that because you know you're smoking quality with the long filler. Combined with that Nicaraguan binder from the Esteli, you got yourself a celebratory stick. That's very much affordable. Anybody can celebrate with it. It's not just meant for the ones that call themselves up echelon, you know? So you have your coffee, your honey over that black pepper and all over the place, rich tobacco. You can tell they did their absolute best with this cigar. And I am very much pleased with it. Of course, it's not my first time smoking it, but I saw it in the humidor. I was like, you know what? This sticks out. It has a beautiful yellow cellophane wrapper that really plays well with the band. So it catches one's eye and lets you know, hey, this is a stick you want to enjoy today and every day that you want to do it. It can be a daily cigar. Who does that makes a, a, a cigar that you can do with any fun, special event and then have it on a Monday through Friday as well. Every occasion, you know, get yourself one of these. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but it's sweet copper somewhere in there um, merged with a sweetness in that rich tobacco. I know it's odd, sweet copper, I don't know. <laughs> I know it's odd, but it is there. And it's done in a wonderful, memorable manner to the point that you're gonna wanna smoke one of these babies again. And you better believe I'm gonna be cheering you on, applauding you to do so. So go ahead and do it, baby. That long filler, that's why I'm letting the ash go this long because I wanted to emphasize the difference between a long filler compared to a short filler. Short filler is when they chop off the remaining parts of the tobacco leaf and use that to uh, complement the filler. With the long filler, they use completely, um, they use the completeness of the whole leaf into the filler so that it can have strength with the smoke as you see demonstrated here. All right. So now I'm gonna get rid of that ash. Very easy. See, it's not that difficult. You know, I just ease it on the ashtray, you know? Easy, not forceful. You don't have to be rough with your cigar. Just take your time with it and just roll it on the edge of the ashtray to get rid of that ash. And there you have it. Want to give a shout out to my brothers and sisters of the Leaf on IG, baby. I appreciate the love, appreciate all the follows. I appreciate all the videos. <clears throat> oh yeah, I paired it too. I paired this baby with ginger ale, baby, because I ain't got no champagne right now anyway. And you'd be surprised. Ginger ale pairs well with a lot of cigars. That's just one of the many things, if it tastes good to you, it's gonna pair well with that there cigar that you're smoking that also tastes good. So just keep that note in mind. Um, and of course, my brothers and sisters of the leaf, people of the leaf, if you haven't already pressed that subscribe button, do that for me. Check out another one of the many videos that I've already done. I got plenty of them, 170 something cigar reviews. So I got plenty of material for you. Check out the IG if you want even more on the cigar reviews that I do. Facebook, Mass Savvy, Cigar Savvy. Cigar Savvy is Mass Savvy. So you need to check me out on Facebook if you want. I'm there, I'm happy to communicate, engage with you, support you, my brothers and sisters. I believe you know how we do. So until next time, we light up another cigar, remotely, wherever you may be. Just know what to do, baby. Enjoy your life and enjoy the smoke. Keep them sticks lit.